got to really break those leaves. They're really tough. Once you get a leaf out, you give it to Heidi. Thank you. Good job. Very good. What are you guys putting on the kale? Salt. <gasps> Salt. Very Salt. good. And how are you putting it on there? Sprinkling it. What, <clears throat> what do you think the salt is going to do to the kale? It makes it taste a bit better. Not it might it. taste a little bit better, absolutely. It what else could it do? Sweet. It could taste sweet, but you know what also the salt can do? It can absorb the excess water that's on it. Yeah. Um, sprinkle it. Yeah. Why do we do that? Why do you think we would do that? So, so we have more control, right? Yeah. All right? So I'll give it to you and then you can give it to your friends, okay? So put it in your hand. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tasted a sesame seed? Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Put the kale now. We're going to go downstairs and put the kale in the oven. For how long? For 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Until it gets? Until it gets crunchy. Crunchy. Very good. This is the final result of the kale. The kale is really yummy. And it tastes really good, right? It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Our garden was launched May 2012 after we partnered with Seeds for Change. Seeds for Change is a community grassroots organization committed to creating sustainable gardens within the community.